Epic. Wait, what? We're like doing like a slow mo of someone fucking around with curves. Can you not take that? I cannot take that seriously. Okay, we're just gonna say the. All right, the video's done. All right, all right. <laughs> okay. Okay, I gotta restart. I gotta restart. <laughs> Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Cecil here, bringing us a video here today. Bring guys a fun little video. I thought it'd be kind of cool, whatever. Kind of just like do this like little, uh, like like a Photoshop designer tries affinity for like the first time. And I'm dead serious, first time whatsoever. I just want to know if it's like an actual alternative to Photoshop. In no way, by the way, am I sponsored. No undercover sponsorship. It's just a fun video. Um, I did a video like this before when I kind of like said uh, like my, like me trying like mobile designing. I was absolute trash at it, whatever. This might be different. Maybe it's like the same UI as Photoshop. I have no idea. But a lot of you guys want to do this like video back in the past and I kind of just kind of like never got to it But this time I'm just gonna say let's just try it. Why not? Um, the sale thing timing by the way I swear I'm not freaking sponsored the sale timing is just really really like like whoa um However, though, I just like I usually know it's like $50, which is pretty cool. And I know with like the whole Adobe thing, subscription models and whatnot, I, it, like that's like their whole thing. Affinity is like all these subscription models, no subscriptions, no, no, like blah, blah, blah. I'm just curious if it's a good alternative so I can like, you know, why not just kind of say um, like you can probably use my tutorials for Photoshop and kind of still use Affinity kind of thing. I'm just trying to see if it's a viable option. So I want to go ahead and just scroll through this really quickly. And the quick like, like the first thing I honestly notice is this literally looks like like I'm on Apple. Like I swear to Bob, like it looks like I'm on like an Apple site. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I, I just don't know which one is which. Um, Cause like designer, like I'm a designer, but I, don't, I think this is like, this is more like photos. Like is this editing? I don't know if it's like a Lightroom thing and like this is Photoshop, but from like my quick little analysis, this might be like the Illustrator and this might be the Photoshop. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, as you can tell, I'm really, really like, I'm literally like lights out. I have no idea, but I'm gonna go with this one only because this looks like all vectory kind of stuff. And so I'm just gonna go with photo, and I'm gonna go ahead and click buy now. Wait, wait, screenshots. Um, okay. I think this is what we want. Yeah, all right, why not? Let's just give this a buy. And, uh, oh, if we try, oh, we ain't buying shit. All right, guys, so Affinity is now, I guess, officially downloaded. And I did open it once and kind of like went through the whole document thing and kind of also just wanted to see if my fonts were in there and they all are in there. That's as far as I pretty much went besides making a new layer. And that's all I got. Promise that's all I got. So I'm gonna go ahead and see that it says 10 days left. So I guess when I first opened it, I guess it said the same exact thing. So I guess you have 10 days of free trial. I'm afraid to like to pay the, the 50 or $40 or whatever. Um, so this is kind of like the splash screen, almost resembles like the whole Photoshop thing. Uh, the landing screen I saw as well kind of resembles a Photoshop thing. It also has like the new, uh, new document stuff. So I'm guessing when you guys save projects, there might be projects in this panel here. Show this panel on startup. So you actually don't have to even have this be showed on startup. I'm gonna use new panel. So these are settings I did. I did uh, web, which I guess is like really similar. I went ahead custom, which is up here. Custom document uh, units. I saw pixels and I also saw points. And the reason why I'm actually kind of like like weirded out or curious about that is just because simply when I usually see points, it usually kind of means that it like that's like vector. So I'm not entirely sure how that works. Maybe like their affinity is like a one hole in one thing. And the one that I saw before, like the affinity. Um, designer or whatever maybe isn't just vector i have no idea but i thought that was kind of weird and cool but at the same time and the width is 3000 by 1000 pixels which is usually the twitter header dimensions i'm gonna go ahead and press ok and i think i'm gonna challenge myself a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and, and just kind of like remake this banner here which is kind of cool the fortnite banner um yeah i don't know why just, we're gonna just try uh so yeah I, I i really do not have too much but i think i think first off is first i think i've i've heard i've heard that you can drag in a PSD and still have this be shown. All right, it says it up here. So usually it's down here, it says it up here this time. So it's loading the document, that's a good thing. I'm gonna go ahead and get some Photoshop, uh, how do you say, Fortnite, FNBR.co. Um, like little images really quickly. So this is like, I guess if you guys really wanna see, why not? I'm gonna go to cosmetics, uh, I haven't did this in a while, icons? And I'm just gonna get some really quick little PNG. So this is where, I don't know. I know Fortnite is not as prevalent and re relevant as it once was, 
But just for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use Fortnite for this. Why the heck not? Can this please load? Jesus, help me, please. Load? All right, now you're just trolling, hold up. <laughs> okay, I guess you can tell that like, it's been a minute since I've been on this, like, it, there's a lot more skins. I guess that's why it's taking a little bit to load. Um, but which font? I used the orange guy. I'm gonna use a blue guy this time. We're gonna save this and put this over here and save it, please. Okay, and we're gonna take this, drag this in the folder, and drag it, I guess, into Affinity? Is that how this is gonna work here? Okay, oh, this is my, um, this is my, oh, ooh, I do not like that. You guys realize that the grab tool is actually the, the first tool, not the move tool, so I was like trying to like drag it over really quickly. Okay, so, quality, fine, looks good, all that good stuff. I'm just gonna use one guy, that's perfectly fine. I, actually, I'll use two, why not? Where is this? Let's go to this. And let's go ahead and go to, let's just use this person in the back. Just kind of like saying hi, right? Or oh, do this guy. Let's just do this guy. Cool. I'm going to save this guy. Throw them in here as well. Just like so. Uh, over here. Hold on. Sorry. I can't see. My mic is in the way. Here. And then we're going to go here and open this up. And then we're going to go back to Affinity. And then we're going to drag this baby in here as well. And then drag them over. Okay. So I'm going to drag these inside here. And... Okay. So I'm going to go on a limb here and say you cannot drag things. We're going to want to right click, uh, copy, right click, paste. Do the f Oh my God. Paste. Right? Okay. So that works. Um, that's like an old school thing as well. Like the whole dragging thing used to be. Maybe if I like did this. Like I dragged it out of its window and kind of like dragged it in here. Nope, that doesn't work either. Okay, so I guess you really, you honestly just cannot drag anything out or drag anything in. Whatever. Like, at the same time, it's like a whatever thing, but it's also, it's kind of sucky. You just have to, like, copy and paste things. I guess that's fine. But we're going to take this character, put them here. We're going to take this character over here, copy him, I guess. I guess control C and V, right? Control C over here, control V. Yeah, we can do that. Take this guy, drag our below. Oh, there's groups. That's cool. I just, like, dragged it in there. Okay. So take this. Put him behind and make him a little bit bigger, I guess, and put him in front. And I want to put this guy behind. And I want to make sure I never click on these guys again. I want to lock these layers. I'm going to go ahead and click lock. Yes, baby. Okay. So we got this part. We're looking good. We're looking as close to like this. Can I like copy and like print screen this? Let's see if I can print screen this. My print screen button's broken. That's good to know. Cool. I just want to like kind of have this be seen. One more time, I guess like, uh, I guess a picture and the right hand side is just pretty much like a black gradient. And then, okay, that's not, it shouldn't be too difficult. I don't think that should be too difficult for this. Okay, let's go ahead and drag in a picture. Let's just go ahead and type in like Fortnite background. I'll just get the first one in there. It doesn't really matter too much. I'm gonna go ahead and go to images. I'll show you guys this, why not? We're gonna go to, uh, I mean like, like season, what season are we on? Like season nine? I haven't played this game, see in? Season nine, here we go. This is definitely it, right? So I can press copy usually image, take this and press paste. It works, cool. So I can take this, make it a little more bigger, right? Drag this below everything, cool. And then I do not know, this is layer mask. This is a, it's a mask layer. So I'm gonna go on a guess and press, if you press the, 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 how do you say it? The brush and you erase with black and you switch this. You fill it in with white. Okay. That is a big W for me. Like, for Affinity to have that, which is pretty... I'm, that's probably super basic, but that's still pretty cool. Also, did you guys just freaking realize that... Sorry, I'm just... I like, probably hear that super loud. Um, If I use... Is the eraser the same way? Eraser? So, you guys realize it shows a preview of the brush and the eraser before you actually do it. It's like, I'm not actually erasing anything just now. Like, oh, it went away. If I move it again, okay. So it goes away after you stop moving, which is kind of weird. I do think that also, I don't know if I like that. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's almost kind of like a weird thing for me. I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't really seem that it's, that doesn't make sense, but it's kind of cool, but it kind of like, no. Um, okay, whatever though. If I take a brush, usually with a mask here, if like, if you guys are just to Photoshop, you guys are watching this for fun, like I hope you guys are. It's kind of like a fun tutorial here today. Um, with a black, when you use a layer mask on a white background, it actually erases. So you guys can just take this, right? Have this be selected, and we can kind of... 
What the heck? All right, I'm trying to erase. Wait, I have to use the eraser? I guess I have to use the eraser. I want to make this a little more smaller though. Let's make it super small. Something like that. All right, a little bigger. And like erase here, right? Just like so. And if you, when you erase on white, if I just erase this really quickly, oh, well, that's not him. If I erase this really quickly, let's say you want to fill that back in. If you guys switch the colors, it's right here, I guess. You guys can just go ahead and fill it back in. I lied. Why am I lying? Brush erases with black, fills in with white. Here we go. So the brush is now working. For some reason, the brush wasn't working before. So brush, white, erases, brush, black, fills it back in. That's kind of what these masks do. So don't worry too much if you guys don't get it. It's whatever. It's a really cool thing, though, for Photoshop as well, though, is to use layer mask when your eyes are erasing stuff. It just makes a lot more sense. Okay, that looks good. Okay, we're going to go ahead and I see a gradient. I'm going to throw a gradient on. I'm guessing this is where the gradients are. Gradient map. Um, so gradient map has three, so I'm guessing I want, all right, so I don't want three, I want two. I do like how this slider kind of works. This might make a little more sense for people, like, who are super, like, not, not knowledgeable of gradients, but I'm going to press, I don't want these, and I'm going to delete it. Oh, that's effects. Uh, I don't know why I deleted it. It's, like, crashed? Delete? Um, I'm going to go on a whim and say there's another one. Yeah, there is. Um... Okay, so I want to delete this one, okay? Okay. Now I want to go ahead and use color on the red. We're going to make this eyedropper. Uh, drag. Oh. Oh, okay. Wait a second. Okay, so the eyedropper tool in here, usually you, like, click on Photoshop and kind of, like, just kind of, like, almost guess it. This here looks like it zooms into the pixel. Like, to see multiple pixels so you can get the right color. Not gonna lie to you, that's pretty freaking cool. So I can use, like, a dark gray here. How do I choose the color, though? If I got it, if I just click again. Okay. So I want to click on this one. I want to use this again. We're going to use, like, black, maybe? I want to reverse these. There we go. There we go. That's pretty dope. Wait a second. I like that a lot, actually. I do like this whole little zoom in thing. Where it's like less guessing. So you have to click on it after like again one more time when you do it. So you got to click. Draw, I'm going to make it like blue maybe. Like just like so. Then when you get the color, you see it right here. You click on it and it does that. Okay. Pretty freaking cool. So it also looks like I actually have another image on the right hand side here. But I'm just going to take the same one. Control C V. I, I guess that's how you copy, right? You, I don't think you can drag it by the way. So I don't think you can drag all like, like alt drag. So control CV was the move. I kind of like did that through my brain. Like I went, I went back to my Photoshop like old man skills and was just did control CV. It works still. We're down. So I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I'm using my brush. I'm making it a little bit more bigger, just like so. And we're gonna go ahead and make sure. Oop! I actually just realized that this is not filled in all the way. You guys see this? So it looks like when I erase it the first time. It actually doesn't erase with like a full 100% opacity, even though this says 100% opacity. That's kind of weird. Uh, you guys are really like noticing right here how it should be filled in like all the way. That's kind of weird, no? Let's just use black and erase it. I guess erasing it goes all the way, but the other one didn't. So, I want to take this, put it above this gradient. Nope. All right, it's kind of weird when you want to like get between the la uh, layers a little bit sometimes. I want to put that a grip. Oh, I just realized, is there a clipping mask? Cause I actually need a clipping mask. This mask to below. So I think that's the clipping mask is masking to below. I'm gonna go here, go to gradient map again, and we're gonna go ahead and right click and do mask to below. Yes. Okay. That's fine. I guess that's okay. Delete this. We're gonna go ahead and make this one black. Also, is there a hex one? All right. So there's hex codes by the way. So you can still use hex, which is pretty cool. We use black, and then we're gonna go ahead and just go with like a grayish tone for the right hand side. I keep doing. I keep double clicking on this to open up the color picker. My bad. I don't know how to get a gray. Like a gray, like like a black, blue, gray. Ooh, wait a second. Is there like a different HL, RGB, hue? Oh, hue. Hue. Okay, so I think you always want to be on hue. Oh, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's actually just on the top, not the right-hand side. This is what I want. This is, like, this is actually what I want. So I want to go ahead and take this and make this almost like a grayish tone. Okay, we're good. This is good. I'm happy. I'm learning. We're getting this thing done. Um, 
by the way in no means am i ever going to be switching over to uh, like affinity i'm just having fun with this video hopefully you guys understand it's three o'clock in the morning we're just chilling you know what i mean kind of thing um we're gonna go ahead and use a text here we're gonna click once let's make like a put it above here yep let's go ahead and type in Fortnite. right we're gonna go ahead and control a to select it all then we're gonna make it white and this is this is the color picker that i wanted i definitely just wanted this all right now i'm gonna go ahead make it bigger the fonts so i, so I checked the fonts Favorites do work, by the way. So if you scroll through, you guys like your fonts or whatever, like like a font, you just click on this and it kind of, you can just go to your favorites now and you can see all your favorites or I guess your recently used or the ones you used or the one you're using. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Um, I want Beavis new, which is not Beavis new. What is it called again? Not bada boom. Burbank. There we go. That's the Fortnite font. Okay, we're gonna make this a little bit more bigger. We're gonna type that just like so. Now, effects. I see the word effects here. This is, I'm guessing this is, is layer effects. Okay, so what is this then here? So I guess these are like more free ones, like 3D. Wait, if layers? No. Okay, so effects actually still just puts the effect, I guess, onto the layer that you had clicked on before, like previously. That's a little bit redundant, I guess. So you can either press effects or effects clicking through them and put them on the layer or just click on this and look at them. I'm going to go ahead and look on them. Um, 3D. So this is 3D. This kind of reminds me of the one below bevel and emboss. Is this not the same thing as bevel and emboss? Wait, what the f specular and ambient color. Those two words. I remember these words from cinema 4D. Like if you guys remember cinema 4D materials color though, wait, This is kind of cool in a way. Kind of cool, but a little bit weird. Like, I don't think, I don't think this is what 3D is. Like, this doesn't look too 3D to me. But I mean, it's still kind of cool kind of thing, right? You know what I mean? How do I make, like, the noise? No. How do I make it, like, higher saturation? Like, this is the high, like, if I go down here, it's too dark. Like, it's, I guess this middle is the highest saturation, but it doesn't look too high. Whatever. Maybe, like, the, this direction. Okay, so this changes like that. Okay. You want to be close to the middle and make it brighter. Okay, I see. Not bad. Uh, ambient. Ambient is literally what that is. So if I make this like a yellow again, it's going to be a yellow tint. Okay. And then specular color. Like ambient color. And then specular color. Okay. All right. Diffusion. Put that up. Specular looks like we're going to be putting that up. Shininess, I guess you're gonna put that up radius. Yeah, see that's definitely bevel and emboss Still kind of cool though. Whatever like soften. No, I don't want to soften it But if I put bevel and emboss on you guys saw how it looked Like screen will make this like yellow Like I don't know I have no idea what I'm doing it's kind of cool though, but also it's a little bit weird. I'm also noticing that these are, has a lot less layer effects, and also there doesn't seem to be drop shadow. Like, Gaja below, uh, Gaja below, outer shadow, inner shadow, outer like outer glow, inner glow, outline I guess is stroke, right? Like radius. Yeah, outline is stroke. Eh, I don't know if I like that. I'm gonna turn all these off. I don't actually like anything about these. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Um. But whatever, right? I, I, I don't know. Maybe like to do drop shot, you have to do this though. So we're gonna have to go old school drop shot. We're gonna press Control C V to make a copy of the Fortnite text. We're gonna go ahead and drag it below this one. We're gonna make this one black. We're gonna move it. Fortnite. Wait a second. Is that spell check, bro? Wait, what? That's spell check. What the heck? Wait, actually, bro, I actually need this. Um, wait, what? That's kind of cool, bro. I know there's probably like a like a, a plugin you can do in Photoshop that like has spell check. But wait, that's that's kind of elite. Like I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of cool. Like I, I like to have it default. That's kind of cool. So for drop shadow, by the way, I was just gonna say you guys just make a duplicate of the text, I guess, and put it below it, right, and make it black. 
And then I'm guessing select, layer, arrange, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. You could put some radius up, I guess. That makes it a drop shadow, just like that. Sweet. Okay, there's a drop shadow. Um, I'm gonna just do one more thing. I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna use the brush really quickly. Okay, brush tool, make this a little more bigger. Please, there we go. I'll make a little bit more, like 28. 20, 28, 50 should be a good size. Press enter. Um, I'm gonna use the color picker here, drag it. I wanna use like this blue here. Go back to my brush, click on the blue on the top just one time. Go to my layers, normal, we're gonna use color dodge. Screen looks pretty good too. I'm gonna use screen. Okay. I'm gonna kinda leave the tutorial here for like the whole design portion. I wanna try one more thing. How do you save? File, export. PNG, uh, Byliner is the best anyway. JPEG is pretty good as well. Don't export hidden, export. So it looks like it's very literal. Like PNG, that's it. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, there's like PNG 8. What confuses me though is if I, I don't think you can do like the quick little, like, uh, like to delete the pixel, use PNG 8, make sure you're on like the right settings for like Photoshop to get the best quality out of Twitter kind of thing, like that video that I did previously. But I mean, I guess like export, and I guess it exports it in a PNG, right? That's what I'm gonna go on and go on a guess with. It also defaulted to my System32 to save it in whatever. I'm just gonna save it as banner. I don't know. So my overall experience was not that bad, right? Like my Photoshop experience kind of helped me through this. Like being brand new still might just make you seem like in a brand new program, which is pretty fine, like pretty much fine in my opinion. But in the case where you guys just wanna learn a new program, for like 40, 50 bucks, this is actually not that bad whatsoever. Like, I can see why people choose this and like this over Photoshop. Maybe like it's too much money for Photoshop, like $120 a year or something like that. Um, this isn't bad. Like, I mean, look at this. I mean, this is very simple. I kind of just copied the tutorial that I overdid over here. A little more bare bones kind of thing. But uh, like, oh, I, I forgot. You can also drag in. I dragged in these things too. So the patterns and stuff like that. I can put some patterns in here. Right? I can, I can like, how would I copy this again? Just copy it, right? and paste it in here, put some patterns in here. Oh, wait, how do you make it color overlay? Fill color overlay, right? Make it white or something, or like blue. Ooh, I keep I keep thinking when I use color, you have to make remember to drag this over. You know, you can use like a blue, click on it again, press close, close. I changed the wrong thing to blue, sorry. And you guys know what I'm trying to go for, right? I'm trying to change this to blue. Here we go. Let's just try it one time. Like, like that's not blue enough. We'll use that. Then click on it. Close it. Right? Get some little textures in there. I don't know. It's kind of cool, though. Like, I won't lie. It's pretty cool. I can see why people like it. This is just more of, like, a very, very fun video. I'm pretty down with it. There's certain things I definitely like about the program. Um, nothing, I don't think, over Photoshop, in my opinion. But, like, I can honestly see why this is a really, really good alternative for people who do not want to pay monthly or a lot more money. This is $40 once or $50 one time. I think it's $50 one time. And that's not bad. I don't think that's a bad deal whatsoever. So with that being said, I'll leave the link to Affinity in the description down below. Once again, to clarify, I'm not sponsored by any single body, literally in no existence whatsoever to anyone tell me to do this video sponsorship wise. Um, this is just like a fun little video I want to try and I wanted to see if what Affinity was all about. And I'm, I'm down, I think it's pretty cool. Um, this all this is all in the trial trial like version by the way I n I don't think they would do something where the trial version has less features or something like that or more harder navigation um, But so far I didn't explore everything, but I'm sure you guys can find some really cool stuff like filters detect Edges whatever right sharpen all that kind of stuff So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video here today once again want to quickly just uh, just say the people who actually ended up saying so I saw it on my YouTube uh, con uh, community and my Twitter, right? You guys wish me a very happy birthday. I had my birthday on June 7th. That was two days ago from now that you guys are watching this video. If you guys watch it, the day goes up. And I just want to say thank you guys so very much. I'm 23 years old now. My first birthday away from my family, which is like it was it kind of it was kind of sad. But I mean they FaceTime me like did like they made a cake and whatever and was like, happy birthday. I was like, yo, that's still lit. Um, so yeah, I just appreciate you guys like bringing home that kind of feel like saying like I had over like 300, 400 happy birthday messages on Twitter. Thank you guys so very much, man. I appreciate you every single freaking day. I hope you guys enjoy your freaking weekend, and I love you guys so, so very much, and I'll talk to you guys later. Sesso HQ out. 
Then I can keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Peace out. Love you guys.